see contamination coming up. Right, just like pumping out the black water in a sewage tank on a boat, you can see the, the chunky stuff come up through the yeah. tube. Whoa, look at that chunk of dirty, yeah. nasty fuel. And the problem is you buy a boat and you run it in the intercoastal, it's okay. You go in the ocean and that stuff gets dislodged. Yeah, man. I know, I can smell it up here. Yeah. Alright, bye. What's he smelling? He says, that's a funky, that's got that funky smell to it, he says. Old it's, dead it's fuel. Old, it's old fuel. Yeah. It's not red. It's, it, it's it. He, he calls it tequila sunrise. I don't know where he comes up with that. Well, he must be young. Because yeah. <laughs> I haven't had a tequila sunrise since the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> now, where did you have that? In New Orleans. In New Orleans. There oh, you go. Yeah. Yeah. The tequila sunrise. I'm trying to think where I had my last one. There you go. I see it. Goodness. So you're going to suck up as much sediment as you can. Yes. And then you're going to get in there with the pressure wand and well, blow it around. The, the little wand is actually in there blasting now. I, but, don't know what, I don't know what our pressure is at this moment, but it's usually around 45 pounds of pressure coming back through that little tube. Okay. So it's stirring up the tank. And the more it starts, and the, we'll, get, we'll, we'll begin to get some coalescence inside the tank. And then um, is this fuel going to be discarded? You know, I, I there's no magic juice to save it. Th no, no, no. It's it's like if you put a bunch of fresh fuel in on top of it, it's like adding one new battery to two dead ones in a flashlight. It's it really doesn't benefit you too much. Will these engines run with this fuel? Yes. The Detroit will. I don't know but, about the Onan. Okay. Well, here's the story. You're going to smoke. This fuel is going to smoke more than most. Okay. okay. This, until they, until they get this burned out of here, and it may not allow the engines to run up to their specific RPM. Now you said the sea trial went pretty well, huh? Sea trial went good. We were just short a hundred R's on the engines, and the boat got up to 19 knots. Amazing. Um, so we can talk about maybe you taking out all the fuel and leaving maybe 50 gallons, and mm -hmm. I'll put brand new fuel on yeah. top of 50. Yeah, that'll be alright. Because the uh, fuel duct's just across the creek. I right. can get it over there. I'll give a big push and we get over there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what do you think about cetane enhancer? <clears throat> um, in Florida, it's not that big a deal. Because of the temperature? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe maybe in this, this climate we're experiencing right now, cetane enhancer would be all right. But for the most part, cetane, all cetane does is help you start up. Yeah, and cetane to diesel is like octane to gas. No, it's not. Oh, it's not? No. Okay, what no. is it? There is nothing that is like octane in diesel fuel. What you want to maintain in diesel fuel is the BTU level of the fuel. Okay. The BTU level basically is the level of how much the fuel can expand and heat, create heat as it burns. All right. Okay, that's what gives the diesel fuel its, its power. You know, people get confused about what octane does. Octane doesn't make the fuel hotter. It has nothing to do with, with making the fuel hotter. It makes the fuel spark faster. It doesn't make it burn hotter. So that's why some of the European cars require the, the high octane fuel is because they're, they're a little more precise and their injection systems squirt, squirt in a little differently than, than others at, sure. at, at, a different, at a different point in the injection system. Or in the different, at a different point of the compression stroke than, than American engines. So they require that that, that C tank. Um, okay, so but but put in diesel fuel you want to maintain, you know, fresh fuel, you want to make use an additive that helps maintain the BTU level uh, in the fuel. C tank is good. C tank means when you're gonna crank the engine, the engine rotates maybe maybe two turns or one turn before it starts up. Without C tank it might crank three times, so revolutions three times before it might start, uh, which isn't that bad of a deal. But you got cetane and fresh fuel anyway. I mean, I don't believe that there's a reason to, to add cetane enhancers to to fresh fuel or to main, use it as an additive. Well, I was thinking about older fuel, but the thing about cetane additives 
is you can double dose and triple dose, but you never get too much cetane. Just not too well, much to be dangerous. Just by overdosing doesn't actually increase your cetane. Okay, that, that's what I was thinking. There's no magic. No. So the only thing to do with old fuel is to get rid of it. Get rid of it. Yeah. I mean, if you want to know the difference, you can you can put some kerosene in it. You can you can put a little. Uh, if you can get some jet fuel, and, you know, there's other things you can do to bring it to to make it hot again. But you know what? It's not it's not worth it. Sure. You know, especially if you if you're trying to iron out old engines that haven't been run. You know, take the take this equation out of the picture. It'll save you big money in the long run because depending on how qualified and how good your mechanic may be, whether he's the best guy in the town or not, when he's got an engine that's not turning up RPM and he's got, uh, you know, clean fuel, looks clean, because if we can clean this fuel, make it look beautiful, but it's going to be the wrong color, it's not going to have the BTU, and his engine's not going to run up, so he's going to start changing injectors. He's going to start changing injection pumps. He's going to start doing this and this and this and trying to get these engines running right. And the and, common and denominator is the fuel. If you fuel. don't have the right fuel, boom. Different things can happen. Sure. So, I okay. Mean, and I don't have a crystal ball that's going to tell us, you know, what this fuel is going to do. But it sounds like it sounds like it's probably not too far away from being perfect fuel if you've got 19, 19 revs out of this or 24 revs, 23 revs. What do you well, get? I think 20, we got 23 revs. 23. You're supposed to get around 24, 24, 50. Yeah. Like these are eight V71s, twin turbos. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a great primer on fuel. Thank you, Robbie. I uh, I just redid uh, a V692 in a boat just like this. Okay. Okay. Into a 30 knot headwind, two foot chop in the middle of the river. I got 24 knots out of the fucking boat. Out of a V6. Out of a V692 series, a 575 wow. horse. These aren't. These are. These are. These are like four and a quarter. Four. These aren't that big. They're not that big. They're a little over 400. Yeah, 400 yeah. four and a quarter. Yeah. My family is marine exhaust systems in every RV. Yeah, I use them on a 53 De Fever. Um, D'Angelo. Or is so that that's a different group? D'Angelo went to work for marine exhaust. Okay. D'Angelo sold 